Pat O'Toole from the Farmers Journal here in Clare Morris. Uh, the meeting uh, for the CAP consultation meeting is just finished. There's no doubt that the main issue of the night was forestry. Uh, forestry in Leitrim, West Cavan, Sligo, um, across the West really. Uh, huge opposition to the pr proliferation of Sitka spruce, described by one speaker as an invasive species. I'm joined here by some of the activists. Um, first of all, I think I'll start with uh, Councillor John Warnock. Justin, Justin Warnock. Apologies. Councillor Justin Warnock uh, from Leitrim. Why is your county so active and so energised about this issue? Our communities are being wrecked, are being decimated, our schools are closing, our shops, pubs, Rural Leitrim is being decimated as a result of afforestation. It is like a juggernaut that has hit the county and it's been funded by the Irish taxpayer, which is a national disgrace. The minister has an awful lot to answer for that he's using Irish taxpayers' money at a time when we have homeless people, we have people on trolleys in hospitals, and the taxpayers' money has been given to vulture funds and uh, other speculators to come in and plunder our county. There's over 50% of the land which can be planted in Leithrop already planted and they are still, the licenses, the posters are going up on the gates, they are still planting and, and they are still looking you, at it. What do you want to happen? We want, it, we want it to stop. We don't want the Sitka spruce. It's wrecking before our waterways, our rivers, our lakes, our ecology is being destroyed by the Sitka spruce. It is non-native and it is a total destruction to our thing our lakes and that and also the fact the University uh, of, uh, in Belfast has done a study on my own lake Loch Melvin and it has proved that the phosphorus levels in the lake are very high as a result of afforestation and this has uh, been carried out by the uh, Belf uh, Belfast uh, University. Okay, um, you made a presentation to Minister Andrew Doyle who's the minister responsible for forestry earlier, can you talk us through that? Yeah, I just gave them um, a sample of our Sitka spruce that everybody in our county is looking out at it every day. Um, it was a, a new one that was just planted um, because plantations are continuing every single day. It, for this month alone in Leitrim, there's 100 hectares after been applied for it to be planted. And that's going on every single week in Leitrim. And we just want it stopped now. We want the government to absolutely just put a stop to it, take a year out and reassess the situation and see how we, we can make things better because the people in Leitrim are really crying out for the situation to stop and nobody's listening to us right now. And that's Rena Gookie and then also Bridget Murphy. Bridget, you're from Sligo. Same problem in your county? Yeah, it is. Um, Ross Common and Leitrim would, would share it as well. I think what's important to note is from 1933, when we started planting commercial forestry here in Ireland, we were using Sitka spruce. And the reason for that is that it grows a lot quicker than, than the natural or the native hardwoods. Unfortunately, making a quick buck out of this timber is having, as Edwina said, dire consequences for communities. So no more than what she said here, we need to take a step back and we need to start thinking about better rather than more. And we start need, we need to look at, 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 at real solutions rather than quick, cheap money. There's no doubt about it, this is going to be an issue that will carry right through the consultation process and right through the future cap.